Hey guys, so today Drew and I were doing a Q&A. Mm -hmm. We haven't done a Q, <laughs> when's the last time you've done a Q&A with me? No idea. It's been a long, long time. We haven't even really done a sit down video in a long time. It's true. These are all true. <laughs> Let's just jump right into the questions. <laughs> First question is, are there any planned vacations? No. No. And Not I, really. There aren't, any, <laughs> there aren't any planned vacations, but I mean, last year we weren't planning on having a vacation either, and then we just like literally last minute. But we had an idea that we wanted to go on one. Well, so we, this year we kind of know that we both don't want to do it. Yeah, I don't think we will go on one this year, but last year, like I said, we, we kind of talked about one, but I don't know, like for me, it like didn't really seem that realistic. And then like literally we just found a condo we liked, booked it in two weeks later we went. Like it was kind of quick. Yeah. So like you just never know, but I don't think so. I don't think we'll probably go on this year. No, I don't either. I mean, probably with my family maybe, but who knows where. Yeah. Second question is, okay, I got two that we're talking about when we're going to do the wedding. And I'll I don't kinda, really know. Yeah, <laughs> Drew is just along for the ride. Um, I don't think, I know that it won't be this year, but I think that I would like to start planning this year and have it next year. But I just don't know. I'm so indecisive that this whole like wedding planning thing is just like not it for me. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It's just stressful. And then like my sister had a wedding last year and I knew I didn't want to have like a wedding like the same year as her just because like, I feel like she needs her time to shine, I need my time to shine, I don't know. Yeah. Another thing that like I just don't know about is we don't know like what we even want to do for our wedding. We keep going back and forth between having a small destination wedding or like a little bit bigger wedding here and like get to have more people. There's things I like about both and I wish I could have both of those things in one but I just can't and so I just I just don't know what I want to do yet so that's why it's really stressing me out and Drew and I, not that we have different opinions but we kind of do, so I don't know what we're gonna do yet. But maybe next year? No. I don't know, we just don't know. <laughs> and I also, another thing too, is like I wanna be able to like have a nice wedding, so like to be able to save up for that wedding. Like I knew going into like getting engaged that I was gonna be engaged for a while because I didn't wanna just like, I just wanna have a nice wedding and like to plan it that quick, it's like you don't even have that much time to save up for a wedding, let alone yeah. like, have, you know what I mean? So money is another thing that's like, playing a factor into waiting too. True. The next question, uh, kind of two and one, is when are we planning for the next baby or do we want more kids? I, mean, I want more kids, but I don't really think we should say more. Oh, I'm not gonna say when. Oh, well, yeah, we definitely want another kid. Yeah, we do want another baby. So we do have a time that we want to start possibly trying. Um, and we do definitely want a third, but I'm not going to say when because I would like it for like for it to be a surprise, but yes, sometime in the future. I'm not, first of all, I just want to say I am not pregnant right now and I'm yeah. not planning on getting pregnant like right now or anything like that. So don't like get your hopes up that there's like a pregnancy announcement coming soon yeah. because there's just simply <laughs> not. But we do know when we want to start trying and I think that like we've thought about a time and it's always gotten pushed back, but I really think this, this time like we're going to stick to that. Yeah. And, and I don't know if you guys have noticed, but like there's certain things that we've been doing too, like in this past year, that have all kind of leading up to like getting ready for having a number, baby number three, like when we got the new car. Oh yeah. You know, that's True. because we, we do want a bigger family, so we inevitably need we a bigger car. We anticipated it, yeah. And we weren't planning on getting the car that soon either. Like it just happened where there was a car available, it was exactly what we wanted, it was a yeah. good price. So we just went ahead and got it early, but. Something I want to add on to that is what gender do you want the next baby? I, I mean, I don't really care. I'd like a boy, but I know she wants a girl. So, so. ideally, I'd like to have four kids, but I mean, you never know what's gonna happen. We don't know what the future's gonna hold. Maybe we have a third and we're like, this is it. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't know. So I really want like another girl. Like having a girl is really fun. So if we have four kids, ideally I'd want two boys, two girls. But if we could only have three, I'd want it to be one boy, two girls. And then like also if the next baby is a girl and then our fourth baby is another girl, I wouldn't be mad about that. 
but if our next baby is a boy and then we have another boy after that and then three boys one girl i'd be so upset yeah like, gender? I, I feel like either way i wouldn't be mad though I'd be i wouldn't be happy. mad like that's what i'm saying like gender's not like too too important to me like obviously i just that's love. not true yes it is you no. get so upset if whenever we talk about like the i i jokingly get upset <laughs> i'm not actually upset i i just want healthy babies like my camera died, but we're back. And as I was saying, ideally, I just want healthy babies. Like, really, ultimately, that's all that matters. But it's just, like, especially after having Blakely, like, having a girl is so much fun for me. Like, getting to pick out her outfits and do her hair and stuff like that. Like, it's really fun for me. Yeah. Whereas, like, you don't get that with a boy. Like, there's there's other good things about having a boy. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, Grayson was the biggest mama's boy ever, and I loved it. But, like... Boy baby clothes are just not it. And Grayson was bald until he was two. Like, <laughs> I couldn't do anything. So, like, I don't know. It's just really fun for me to have a girl. And I just, I just really want at least one more girl. That's why, like, if this next baby's a girl, like, all my stress will be gone because at least I have that other girl. Yeah. Whereas if I have a boy, there's gonna be so much pressure on that fourth baby to have a, a girl. Yeah. But I, I definitely do want two <laughs> boys. Like, I do want another boy. I just want the boy to be last. Yeah. Okay, how do you cope with postpartum depression? So I think that the most important thing is like focusing on the little things, like doing little things that like will make you feel better. Like for me, I like I like bright, bright rooms. So like turning on the light and opening the window, stuff like that, like makes me feel better. Whereas when it's like really dark and gloomy, like it tends to make me more depressed. Or like, if I really need to get something done, like if I really need to clean, I try to make it like fun. So I really like to play music when I'm like doing the dishes or like whatever, like to like help hype me up. <laughs> and, um, so doing things that you like to do and like really taking time out to like do things that make you happy and like taking a break from like your children. <laughs> but also I think the biggest thing recently is communicating to Drew. Like, if I'm ever having a bad day, I, like, immediately tell him, like, hey, like, I'm feeling sad today. And then he knows to, like, one, like, be a little bit easier on me, and then two, he, like, tries to help me, like, helps me get motivated. Like, okay, what can I do for you? Do you want me to get you some coffee so we can get you awake? Like, and so that really helps. Whereas before, I would just, like, be sad and, like, take my anger out on him sometimes, and then, like, it would just make, make matters worse. So I think that's a big thing. I know that like some days I really do not like feel like moving, like I'm very unmotivated. And I think the biggest thing is like pushing yourself to get out of that. Like even if it's doing something really small, like for me, once I get up and start doing something, then I'm like ready to do more things. Yeah, so it's just sad. like, it's just like initially getting up, doing that first little thing. And then just like really trying to get stuff done. And also being like really easy on yourself. Like there's a day where you like, just feel really sad and you really just don't feel it like give yourself a day feel all the feels get it out of your system but wake up knowing that like you want to get things started the next day like don't try to stay in that spot and just building good habits i feel like like for me like the small things really matter like i like to wake up and as soon as i wake up i like to wash my face brush my teeth and then like that like helps me feel better and like i don't know maybe for you it's like making your bed or like whatever just something little that like makes you feel like you started the day off right. It's the initial thing. Yeah, for sure. And also food. I feel like sometimes I forget to eat and that always makes things way worse. <laughs> Are you planning to stay in Jerseyville or is your plan to move away? We'd like to move. Hopefully, I'd like to move soon. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I, I have no, see the, here's the thing. Every year I go into the year thinking that like, big things aren't gonna happen and then every year something unexpected happens like moving into this house or yeah. moving into the apartment or like like just things like that so like i don't know like when we're gonna move maybe it's this year maybe it's not but like we do i, I at least want to leave jerseyville for sure i at least want to go to like all of them somewhere like that i, I just don't want to be like here absolutely i i really really hate this town i like i don't even like going to the grocery store because i know that i will see someone i know yeah and i don't like most people here so i don't like seeing anybody i know exactly <laughs> so i just i just like i just want to be able to go to the grocery store and like not have to talk to people that i especially fake people that like literally do not care about me at all but that yeah. are acting like they do 
I don't know. And people here are just nosy. They don't care about you or your feelings. They just want to know the drama and they want to gossip about you. Yeah, they already have a judgment on you and opinion about you. So like, whenever you, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like whenever they see you, like to you, you already know. Like they're thanking one. And thing. you, you already and like it's such a small town. You hear everything. Like I know everyone that's talked shit about me. Yeah. And so like same. trying to pretend to be nice to them, even though I know that they've talked badly about me, it's even like, like I don't want to do that. Even your best friends here <laughs> can talk <laughs> shit on you. You got. You really don't have best friends here. Yeah, it's just not a good place to be. Who was interested in who first, and how did they ask you out? Well, I mean, it was kind of like all on me. I don't think she even had any clue. It all kind of started like uh, one of my buddies was really wanting me to go to homecoming, and I don't really like that shit, so I didn't want to go. And then he was like kind of picking people out, and then like he was like, "What about her?" And I was like, "Yeah, that's, that's a good one." <laughs> so. Uh, we just kind of had a plan for me to ask her, and then after I ended up asking her, and like we went and like met, and we went, had a lunch together or whatever, and after that I kind of realized, you know, I did like you a lot, and I or not, you know, not a lot, but like I, I was you like this could be something, yeah. and so I mean nothing really happened after that, and it was kind of awkward after that first uh, initial, initial date, yeah, that, like lunch or whatever. That first meeting was a little weird, so. After that, though, uh, I think I asked for your uh, number or something on yeah. Snapchat after a football game, and then I started texting her, and then, yeah, that's kind of how it started. And then, yeah, and I think <laughs> both of us went into it not thinking that it would end up in a relationship. Like, we literally just thought we were strictly going to be homecoming dates, and we were yeah. fine with that. But then when we got to know each other, we were both kind of like, oh, shit, like, I kind of like you. Yeah, it was like, not, not like a why not, but like... You know, like to me, it was like it was completely new, so I was like, whatever. <laughs> For me, I went into that school year not thinking I was gonna date at all, not wanting to date at all. And so then when I met Drew, I was kind of like, uh oh. <laughs> because I really liked him. And so, yeah, it was really nice though. And I'm glad that it happened. I feel like things always happen when you least expect them. Yeah. Yeah, like if I were to look back at eighth grade year. If I were to tell myself I was going to have two kids with you and be engaged with you, I'd be like, no. Oh, I would have <laughs> been that like... I would, not that I, you know, not to get to you, I just wouldn't have... No, I would have thought the it. same thing. I'd have been like, you're lying. Like, yeah. Drew, come on. Like, I never thought in a million years I would ever date you. And because, and it's not because I didn't like him, I had a huge crush on him. But it's because he was so popular, I was like, he would never date me. Drew was easily the most popular in this Not wanted, not wanted fame. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah, it was because of football. And other like, and it wasn't good things either. I was known for a lot of bad things. So like I wasn't popular in a good way. I think you were though. Everyone loved you. Everyone thought you were an incredible really athlete. Because care. you were, you were an <laughs> incredible athlete. Drew, Drew is very like he does not like to brag about himself. So when I brag about him, it makes him uncomfortable. So I do. I will switch the subject. What are some of your New Year's resolutions? I think the biggest things like because me and Drew every year we will go over our last year's New Year's resolutions and then write new ones and then we put them on the fridge. And then we realize we didn't do most of the ones we wanted to do. <laughs> no, honestly, I think I achieve a lot of my New Year's resolutions without even like realizing I do. always lose mine before I can go back and look at sure, it. We did lose Drew's last year but yeah. but I like keeping them on the fridge because I like to be reminded of them every day and be like oh like I've actually been doing that one pretty well or like oh I forgot about that one I need to start doing that more you yeah. know what I mean but anyway some of mine most of mine just were based off of like being a better person like I want to be a better mom obviously like I always want to I think every year my new year's resolution is going to be to be a better parent because like you can always improve yeah and just being a better person in general I don't know I just and especially with like my health I think one of the biggest things that I really want to stick to is like eating better learning how to cook more things I think last year I really like started to branch out with cooking and I want to yeah. continue that and then I just really want to feel like stronger like I feel like I feel very weak 
different. So like working out a little bit oh, more. Okay, like physically. Yeah, like physically, I want to feel stronger, especially before like we have another baby. Like I want to like just work on myself, and especially because like another thing that's on my resolution is to wean Blakely off of the boob, which is something I wanted to do before we have another baby. Like I wanted a gap in between because like I've literally been pregnant or breastfeeding for the past four and a half years, so. I wanted like my body to myself yeah. and so I want to like really embrace that time and work on myself. I'd also like to cook more. I'd like to take more time out of like my day and spend it with the kids and like hang out hang out with like you more. I feel like I'm always like kind of doing my own thing or like I'm always wanting to do my own thing, trying to work out or you know just whatever I want to do I feel like I need to like really set some time aside for you guys uh, I like I really like to try to like not get so irritated all the time I feel like little things sometimes set me off like to be more patient yeah, that's like something that I always want to work on too uh, especially with kids I feel like it's like a necessity absolutely and uh, I don't know I'd like to eat better I like to eat way better I feel like we don't always eat the best and we always kind of cut corners with food because you know with the kids it's kind of hard to like kind of mess with them get them all ready and then try to you know try to cook and then I don't know or as well as like eating out like not spending so much money on things that I don't need to spend money on oh yeah me too like I because the kids and stuff would rather just kind of save my money and just see what I can spend especially like because like our next step is like buying our own house you know yeah. what I mean? So to like really start saving money and stuff is really important and that was another one of my New Year's resolutions. For sure. Next question, how is Katie different from the rest? Why <laughs> you asked that question, didn't you? I already <laughs> Drew, answered this. I ask this question to Drew like every single day. I know, and I feel like I have to answer it differently. If you, no, you answer it and then I'll answer it about you. Katie is very different from the rest because, well, one, one thing I noticed about her is that she didn't really try to like, she wasn't like so boastful about herself. Like she was, she was really, uh, I don't know, she was really modest. She was like really interested in me. And I felt like that was kind of like something that was kind of a first. And then I was just like, you know, that's, to me that was very different. I feel like a lot of girls, they think they have to impress everyone or they think that their life has to be better than another girl's for someone to, I don't know. And like, I don't want people to fucking come at me for that though, so. No, it's, so, not, it's not saying that that's necessarily bad, it's just like, that's how I'm different. Yeah, like, you know? and uh, I don't know, like you didn't think that you had to dress a certain way either, like you weren't so like, not that like it's bad, but you weren't so showy, like you weren't trying to like one up anybody, you weren't trying to like impress anybody, you were just, you were just there to be you, and I felt like that was like, that was really neat. Like, I feel like girls think that they always have to impress like a guy, or like think they have to look like they're better than another girl for them to kind of like get some kind of satisfaction or whatever, I don't know. But like, you weren't like that, and I thought, that, I mean, I'm not saying every girl in the world's like that, but yeah. it's not uh, common to see like some, someone like that and someone who doesn't really care about attention like you never really wanted anything on yourself like you were always like the opposite of that like you didn't want all the attention on you you didn't want everyone's eyes on you and like not that that's like again none of these yeah, things are exactly bad that. but these are things that I just enjoy like I like that's just what I enjoyed so like when I noticed that that's why like I didn't plan on dating anyone and then I was like you know, she's actually someone who I, like, really, really love being around. Like, she was so fun to be around. Like, she wasn't, like, she wasn't trying to play cool in front of me either. Like, a lot of girls try to play cool, it seems like. Like, they can't, like, be vulnerable or whatever. Like, me and you, like, when we first kind of really hung out, like, we were, it felt like we were best friends, like, immediately. Yeah. And to me, I really liked that. And you were just very nice all the time. Like you, you were like you were there for me. Like you were always like on my side. Like you didn't 
like you always wondered what was best for me. Like it wasn't always like it wasn't just like you were never selfish. Like you were always you always cared about me. Like you always wanted I don't know. You always wanted to help me. You were just very very sweet and caring, and like that to me was it was new, and I liked it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That was very nice. Drew is very different from the rest for a lot of things. I don't know if I should say this on camera. Can I say like the first thing that I noticed about you that was different? Do you know what I'm talking about? No. You don't want me to say it or you don't want me to I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I'll start the story. If you don't want me to say it on camera, I will put it in. So the first thing I noticed about Drew is he wasn't like using me for like my body oh, or yeah. anything like that like he genuinely just liked me and when I said no it was never an issue it was like he didn't make me feel guilty about it he didn't try to force me to do it he didn't beg me like to do it that should be normal it should be normal <laughs> it should be <laughs> but <laughs> that was the first time I had ever experienced that like if I said no like I didn't want to do something it was immediately like it was just totally cool he didn't make me feel awkward for it like you were you were always very respectful of it. And that was the first thing that like, that was when I was like, okay, I actually, cause I feel like for a while I had my guards up against him because like, I just didn't know how he was gonna be. Like I really didn't. And that was the first thing that I was like, wait, he might actually be like a good person. And I really appreciated that. Yeah. Another thing is you will never catch him bragging about himself. Like literally when I was just trying to tell you how it was in high school and that's genuinely how it was. Everyone loved Drew, everyone like, because he is an incredible athlete, but you will never hear him talk about that because he does not like to brag about himself and he doesn't like when people brag about him. Like when his parents, because obviously like your parents gonna brag about you. Yeah. When his parents brag about him, he's always like, oh my God, stop. Like yeah. he gets so embarrassed. Like I understand it. But it's, it's like genuinely true. He is a really good athlete. He was an amazing football player. Like that's why he was so popular in school and stuff. And so like, but like, and when I first met him, I thought he was gonna think he was just like way cooler than me and like just be really cocky and stuff. And like, so our whole first conversation, I was trying to talk to him about football because that's all I knew about him is that he played football. That's the one thing I hate. And he like, about. every single time, he would just kind of try to change. He did not like talking about it because he just like, he's not like, he is not cocky whatsoever. He's not a bragger. He will never talk about anything like that. And that was really cool to me. And then he was always like, completely himself around me like I always thought he like just never talked never laughed never showed emotion <laughs> and when that first time we hung out at your house he was extremely funny extremely goofy <laughs> yeah exactly he was extremely goofy and he was just he was always making me laugh doing just like some goofy shit yeah and I, I wasn't like crowds <laughs> yeah for sure I was not expecting that and I really really liked that like, I don't know. And he says the most random stuff. <laughs> like, we'll, we'll, like, it won't make any sense at all, but it's just so funny. Like, and you just never expect what's gonna come out of his mouth. And it's just always so random and off the wall, but it's always so funny. And he's always like, I feel like you're the life of the party. Wherever we go, <laughs> he's always making everyone laugh. Surprisingly. Yeah, and he's always like, <laughs> making like all the funny jokes. like. Like, everyone just always seems to, like, really like Drew when they get to know him because he's just so funny. Only when I'm fucking drunk. Not only when he's <laughs> drunk. <laughs> but, but a lot of the times, he is drunk. Careless. <laughs> yeah, you definitely are more talkative when you're drunk. But no, even, like, when, when you're sober. Like, if we're just hanging out with your family and you're comfortable, like, because you're comfortable around them and stuff, like, he's always saying funny shit. I also like that you cared about me. Like, genuinely just cared about, like, me and like who I was you, you never like like because I, I do feel like I like different things than other people like YouTube for example yeah. most people don't have YouTube channels but when I first told Drew and I've told Drew that I wanted a YouTube channel since way before I had Grayson like yeah. probably since the beginning because I've always wanted a YouTube channel that's true yeah and he wasn't like that's weird he was like oh my god like yes like, you should do that yeah like he was always what? I mean I like YouTube I've always watched it so like I wasn't really surprised. I thought that was a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. And he's just always been really supportive of it. Because, like, a lot of people, like, I know that, like, a lot of people make fun of me for it, and I understand. But he's never once, like, he's never made fun of me for it, and he's also never been embarrassed of it. 
Like, yeah, I'm people. embarrassed of like myself, like when I hear myself talk. Yeah, he doesn't like, like to listen to himself talk. That's just me. Like I'm always like proud of like what Katie can do on the camera because like she can edit, she can listen to herself. Like if that was me, I would immediately delete the video as soon as I heard myself <laughs> talk. Like, but like, it. and and also like he's like my number one fan. He's the one telling everyone like, oh yeah, Katie has a YouTube channel. You need to go watch it. Her videos are awesome. Even though he doesn't watch my videos, <laughs> he has no idea how they are. He's like my biggest supporter of it. But yeah, he's never thought that like, because I feel like I have some pretty out there ideas. Like, I don't know. And he's just always been really supportive of it. And like, whatever I want to do with my career, my future, like he's always 100% on board. Yeah, I mean, if, well, I don't know, like why would you do something you don't want to do? Right. I think if it's going to make you happy, that's going to make, you know, I don't know, just everything better. Yeah. And then obviously, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is like, I know this now, but I didn't know this when we were first dating, but like he's just also a really good dad. Everyone that sees him like around the kids, the first thing he says is, oh my god, he's such a good dad. Because like, he, he just genuinely is. He, like if the kids need a diaper change, he's the first one to jump up and like change their diaper. Like he's not like, I feel like a lot, of, I, I don't know, but I feel like a lot of dads would be like, okay, he needs a diaper change, and like would just grab them all. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Which was always, I, mean, I don't know, he's just always involved, always doing stuff for them. Like, like our... The way we take care of them is very much 50-50. I feel like, like, and I feel like that's that's hard to find sometimes. Yeah. But Drew is a very involved dad. Like he goes to all of the doctor's appointments with me. Like we do everything together with them. Yeah. And I really, really like that. Like I like that he is so involved. Like Makes just as much. Easier. Well, yeah, and like it's important for you to know those things too. Like you know yeah. what I mean? Because there's a lot of appointments that we've gone to where like we didn't expect the outcome and like things have happened and like I could like for instance Gray's very first eye doctor appointment we didn't expect for them to want like an MRI oh, like I yeah, couldn't imagine like true. being there alone hearing that like I'm glad that we were there together you know yeah. what I mean like you just don't know what to expect with stuff like that and so like to always go to them together it like really helps I enjoy it yeah it's fun. but yeah that's it that's I feel like we got really deep there. <laughs> oh yeah, I thought you were saying that's it for the video. That is it for the video, that's all the questions. It is? Yeah. It looked like you had a ton. A lot of them are repeated questions. Oh. Like it was all about the wedding and the baby. I was thinking we got another hour <laughs> left. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, okay. Everyone just wants to know when we're getting married and when we're gonna have a baby. Same. And soonish. Soonish, yeah. Like, it depends on what. Like I definitely do want to start wedding planning this year and as far as the baby, that's just gonna be a surprise. Yeah. Cause I don't want to like say like, yeah, we're gonna start here, and then like they're gonna know. Yeah. Like when we're having a baby, but it is it is soonish. It's just not right now. I'm 112 percent not pregnant right now, and I don't want to get pregnant. 112. Well, I mean, I literally I just got my period, so it's impossible. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did. Don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. It helps me out so much when you guys like my videos and interact with my videos. And leave a comment, ask more questions if you want, and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our videos. And I will see you guys because we're gonna get married and have another baby at some point. So you yeah. don't wanna miss out on that. Definitely subscribe. True. But yeah, that's it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video. No, say bye. Yeah, say bye guys. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>